Hey guys, welcome to another episode on how to use Ari, auto repair software. My name is Cameron, and here's what I have in store for you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the payment feature in the Ari Auto Repair app. Log into the app, and first, you need to make sure you have already completed your company profile setup. If not, please check the description. There you will find a link with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up your Ari Auto Repair company profile. Now, let's get into the payment section, and click on the plus button to create a new payment. Here, you will be able to select an existing invoice that you want to record a payment for. You have the option to select from multiple types of payment methods. Luckily, Ari supports various types of payment methods, so you can easily satisfy even the most demanding clients. Here are all the payment options accepted by Ari. In order to process online payments, you will need to set up a payment processor. We will cover this section in a different video tutorial. Please note that any online payments made via the online invoice after the payment processor is set up will also show up on the payments section automatically once the payment is processed. For each type of these methods, you will have to fill in different types of information regarding the payment method. Then you need to input the paid amount as well as the payment details. Finally, save the payment. You can also log multiple payments for the same auto repair invoice. Maybe your client gave you an advance payment, or maybe they want to pay in several rounds. So let's click on the plus button and add another payment. I will select this invoice, and then I will add this amount, and I will note this as advanced payment. And now you can see here the amount that was paid for this invoice. Let's click again on the plus button and continue to create another payment for the same invoice. I will select the same invoice and add another amount. Here, when selecting the invoice, you can see its status, the total, the amount that was paid, and the payment that is left. So in order to complete this payment, I will fill in this amount. I can also see this info if we go to the Invoices and Estimates section. Click on Invoices, and you can see the status and the amounts that have been paid for all invoices. You can also create payments from the Job Card Invoice menu directly. Open an unpaid invoice, go to More, then click on Customer Payment, click the plus button, fill in the amount and details, then hit Save. Now here, you can see how many payments were made for this invoice. You can mark an invoice as paid directly. In order to do that, just open an invoice, then go to More, and then here you can click on Mark as Paid. This will create a cash payment record for that invoice and change its status to Paid. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can access all RE features by going pro. You can do this in RE settings. See you on the next one.